Welcome back, everyone, to Final Fantasy VII. We kind of have to take the roundabout way to get back up here. Alright, so it's not this direction. Not in this direction. Definitely not in the direction where the sign says go this way. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yep, so now we found the mural room. Oh. Oh, oh hello again. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. <laughs> Come on, guys, Sephiroth needs a hug! Oh, or not. Oh. Yeah, so Sephiroth's gonna start pulling, like, a Ganondorf from the Legend of Zelda cartoon, and he's just gonna. He's just pretty much gonna teleport down the hall. <laughs> and as you know, Sephiroth is just teleporting everywhere behind him, in front of him, to his side. Probably, probably teleports him dangling from the ceiling. I, I'm not even so sure if this is like you know, is he he's just teleporting just for shits and giggles, or like is this just supposed to be like image projection, like you know, this is like you know, shit going on in their heads or something? Like I'm not I'm not 100 sure, because it just seems um, a tad unnecessary to keep teleporting two feet. Yeah, something tells you this may or may not have something to do with, like, the, like their minds being fucked with. Because if Sephiroth was just teleporting, like, two feet away, like, in the most ridiculous places, then it's like, okay, I'm t all right, then it's like, okay, clearly, Sephiroth, you're so much like Dio, when you're constantly stopping time, only to just move f a few feet behind Jotaro. Hmm. All right, so now we're going to get Sephiroth's plan. Wait. Fuck you, ground. But, I'm trying to recall, like, didn't we already get the gist of Sephiroth's plan in the first place? Or is this, or is he trying to get more into detail no, oh, about it? it? It's detail. Up until this point, we just knew that, okay, he's alive, he's killing people, but then then it's like, okay, he's after this black materia. Why is he after the black materia? Now we know why. Ah. Okay. Yeah, long story short, the black materia is, like, the most devastating uh, materia. It summons a spell known as Meteor. Now, in previous Final Fantasies, Meteor is just, like, another magic spell. Granted, a very powerful magic spell, but just another magic spell nonetheless. In this game, however, it causes the fucking apocalypse. Oh, fuck. Bruce Willis, help us! <laughs> yeah. So, he's gonna, he's gonna use the Black Materia to summon Meteor to crash into the planet... The planet will then use the life stream to try to heal the wound. He's gonna put himself in the middle of it, take the power for himself, and become a god. Ah. Uh, and. Cloud. Yeah, shit's uh, shit's about to get real now. Sephiroth is possessing Cloud. Wait, that's not really what's happening, is it? There's a lot of weird things there's going on. Like, because admittedly, it's like, pretty much from this point on, yeah, you're going to see a lot of weird shit going on with Cloud. Uh, I mean, they've been yeah, very like, like this. Been, well, they've been very subtle about it, even since the beginning. But now it's going to start coming out full force. Ah. So, I mean, yeah. Wow. So, uh, that big circle thing on the wall, that's the meteor, right? <laughs> or am I, or am I just seeing things? No, nope, that's- no, that is meteor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. 
the, the way they worded planet. it, they made it seem like it was like a magnet spell or whatever. Right. Well, it's like I said, in previous Final Fantasies, it was just a regular magic spell. Suddenly but a boss. to face off against? Yeah. Oh, oh red a, dragon. Recolor, a recolored dragon. Random dragon. Yeah, random dragon. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, this is, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is exactly like that uh, green dragon we fought a couple of times, only he had a color change. Yeah, it's pretty much a, uh, it's pretty much a palette swap. So, in that case, I mean, e even with the color palette change, it's like, is there, like, any difference between said dragons or anything? You mean aside from strength, right? Yeah, aside from strength, no, not really. Ah, all right. It was just the other one was just a regular enemy. This one's a boss. Right. That's literally the only difference. Oh. Pfft. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, there's really not a whole lot to really say about this dragon. It's like I said, if you fought the green dragons back in Mount Nebel, the strategy's pretty much the same. I mean, it, they are strong. They do have uh, lots of hit points, so you just kind of gotta whittle your way down and keep your defenses up. That's really all you gotta worry about. All right. Oh shit, he's a- oh. Okay, never mind. Wait, what? For a second, I thought he was doing something- Oh, uh, like he did something different! Holy shit, he stood up on his hind legs and smacked you in the face of his tail! Nope. Aside from just suffice his to breath. Say, this thing's... Yeah, suffice it to say, this thing's almost dead. Uh, yeah. Oh, ow! Oh, oh he did something else even too! With, even with the protect up, that still hurt. Well, yeah. Well, that if I didn't have if I didn't have that yeah, barrier, be I would have killed him. Yeah, that was a crit damage. Oh, I, okay. I guess that explains why. Yeah, whenever it flashes white like that, that is crit. Oh yeah, I knew that. I just didn't see the I just didn't see the white for a second. Yeah. Also, there. Also, I can only assume there's no roof in this temple. See, is how he's able to do that, and then that's gonna shoot right from the sky. Oh, and hey, there it goes. <laughs> Okay, we'll save the limit break for next time. Aw, hmm. oh, oh man. Hey, oh, you should level up. Nice. That's what that's why I've been keeping the rune sword. Alright, and then we have another summon materia. Oh, that red dragon please tell, gave please, you a summon item? Please tell me it's Bahamut. It's the I knew it! Bahamut. Yep. Ah. Yep. It, uh, another Final Fantasy staple, Bahamut. It's actually the first of three Bahamuts in this game. Oh, there are three Bahamuts? Mm-hmm. In only- yeah, in this game. Because usually in the other Final Fantasies, it's just- there's just one, and it's just Bahamut. You know, there's no other versions or anything, and usually Bahamut- he's usually considered one of the most powerful summons that you can get in the game, so... You, they always usually save that one for way later on. And, yeah, we just got the first form. <laughs> oh... Okay. Okay. Shake it. Here is when here's when things get a little bit confusing. Okay. Cause it was like, huh? Okay. Now I wonder what how what's the wonder how it would how it would play out if Cloud were to pick up that object and shake it like a shake weight. <laughs> oh no. Oh, 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 okay. Now, okay, now that explains a lot. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what kind of magic technology or whatever the shit that the Cetra had back in the day to cook this thing up. Yeah, but... Because, I mean, it's like, I get the idea what they're trying to do. I mean, it's like, you know... Because of how powerful Meteor is and everything, they wanted a failsafe. They they wanted to make sure that nobody could ever get this thing. Yeah. And it's like, you know, what better way of doing that than, like, you know, basically disguising it as a temple. And it's like, oh, yeah, go on, del delve into the temple. You want the Black Materia? Sure. Solve the puzzles. 
you'll just you'll just get crushed while it becomes the black materia. Yeah. So it's like I I get I get the idea behind it and everything, but it's like it's one of those things where it's like okay, a temple becomes a materia. Because that's so different from, like, you know, how Materia is usually explained. Because, you know, if you remember earlier on in the game, it was explained how, you know, it was Mako Energy or just even pure Livestream itself that was compressed and crystallized and everything. Yeah. So how did we get a stone temple out of this? Hmm. I don't know. Or, like, I guess the, be I guess the better question is how did you convert a crystallized Materia into a stone temple? I don't think that was ever explained. I think oh, that's no. just one of those things we're supposed to buy. It's like, we're just supposed to go with it. And it just bugs the shit out of me. Cause it's like, really? Right. This one's kind of a stretch. Yeah. Hmm. It, it's it's so weird, though. Because all this time, I thought that little floating object to the far right or whatnot, I thought that was just a black material. But no, it's like, clearly I wasn't paying attention to the text the first time around. And it's like, oh no, it's not just that. It's the whole damn temple. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. Yep, so, so. so I was like, yeah, forging a temple out of black materia alone. It's like, okay, that's. Uh, I don't know if impressive would be the right term for it, but it's definitely something. Is think, it is definitely this is something. Of, this is one. Of, this is where one of those things I kind of hope the uh, HD remake will maybe go a little bit more detail into. Yeah. But we still have one last boss to go. What is this? Through. Oh, the wall shadow. Well, time to put Bahamut to the test. <laughs> right? Pretty much. <laughs> so, this thing. Uh, what exactly is this thing? Is it like some kind of spirit it's, just trapped in the wall? It's just a, it's just a wall monster, basically. <laughs> Ah, okay, so yeah, basically like that I, yeah, shadow I mean, wall the, monster or the wall shadow creature in Yu-Gi-Oh. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's, well, I mean, where we're headed right now, like, the door that it's guarding is the exit. Yeah. So, so this is probably set up as, like, you know, oh, you're trying to escape now. Now, ah, uh, not after what you're trying to fall. <laughs> anyway, so the thing about this boss... As you can no doubt uh, see, if you try casting just like regular magic spells, like your fire, ice, bolt spells, they're not going to do a lot of damage. You're pretty much limited to physical attacks and summons for this fight. Oh, yeah. Because even I, yeah, because even if I had Aerith uh, cast magic, because she is like my, yeah, she is our, you know, big mage right now, she still will not do a lot of damage. Oh, okay. That, that is why I'm relying so heavily on the on the summons and the limit breaks. Yep, and also, yeah, so this guy basically think, like, he takes advantage of a front row, back row situation. So, like, when he's in the back row, that's where he'll do, like, the cave-in skill, which is where he'll do, like, a jump or something, and you'll see maybe, like, a rock fall on somebody. Or I, like those ice crystals fall on everybody. Oh, but when he I comes, see. but when he pulls himself closer, like what he did now, now he's gonna start rushing. Oh, like, like, like that! that. <laughs> yeah. He literally moved the wall he was stuck on with him just to claw, just to claw at you. Yeah, and now he went back to the back. <laughs> oh goddamn! <laughs> It was like, uh, it's like, thank you, Aerith, and your puny level one limit break. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh man, oh but, oh but no, seriously, it's like, wouldn't it be something if it's like this wasn't like a boss who's literally trying to kill you or whatnot, and it's like the three protagonists here are just mis are just misunderstanding what's going on. Like this creature is like actually just asking these three to help him get out of the wall like ah get me out of here i'm stuck oh we'll help you all right no ah, no why, why are you attacking me <laughs> <laughs> why do i get the feeling like that's gonna be something we may end up seeing in the mission of oh, oh god. my god <laughs> <laughs> i will seriously laugh my ass off if they seriously take that route i will cry <laughs> kill me please ah oh, what am i 
Alright, back to big guy. Back up. Yeah, I think we're like... Yeah, he should only have like a couple hundred hit points left at this point. Yeah, two, th 235. Oh. Yeah, if he just maybe one or two more blows on to do the trick. Oh, shit. Yeah, good thing we had big guard up. Yeah. That easily could have wiped out Aerith. Yeah. Easily. And... Dead. There we go. You, you killed him and the wall itself. Yeah. Everyone levels up. You get a level up, and you get a level up. Everybody in this party gets a level up. And a guy oh, gets wait, oh, Okay, well, maybe except for you guys in the back corner. You didn't do anything. Oh, meanwhile, <laughs> Kate Sith. All right. I was like, I was like, well, it's a good thing Kate Sith showed up, like, came out through the door when he did. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Wait, was that demon's game, like, blocking the door in the first place? Pretty much. Oh, okay. Never mind. That explains a lot. But first, yeah, cause, yeah, cause, um, yeah, cause before, I mean, while we, while I was kind of like, you know, talking about the black material and everything, yeah, when Ketchy called and everything, he said, you know, don't worry, I know how we can solve the situation. Just meet me at the exit, and that was what was in the way. Right. I just thought it was like really ironic timing, but it's like, oh, okay, if that demon's gate was in the way, that's like that makes sense. Oh. Let me just, uh, pelvic thrust at you and get- so I can perform my prediction. This isn't good. I can't say it. Poor Tifa. Yeah, this was the part where I'm just like, are you shitting me right now? What do you mean, poor Tifa? Looks good. You are perfect for each other. No, it's, it, it's because he's well aware of the love triangle. And trust me, it does not matter what if you dated Tifa or not. I mean, this is scripted dialogue. So, so what? So he he he, he says the same thing regardless. Ah, uh, damn. So what was Casey's like fibbing a little bit, or is it like, oh, is this actually true? Like Aerith and Cloud are perfect he, for each other. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, he did one of his uh, fortune tellers. Oh, uh, okay. And they misspelled Aerith's name. What? Wait, wait, oh. what am, wait, wait, what? What was misspelled? Aerith's name. Aerith's name. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! That's okay. What? That's okay. Ah! Yeah, yeah, Ryan had to do some editing on this video. Yeah, yeah, cause, yeah, well, cause, cause here's the thing, though. Apparently, uh, in the original Raw, for whatever reason, it cut out that particular part of dialogue or whatnot. So, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and I'm not gonna lie, it's like, I know this, I know it's like, well, I don't wanna spoil too much, but... I mean, even before, even, like, right now, and before we get into later events with the protagonist here, this is actually a rather depressing scene, and so it's like, I, it felt kind of off when it had to cut out that particular part of dialogue, so I had to try to recreate it myself, just a little oh. bit. That's fine. Yeah, but basically, uh, what's going on here is, so yeah, everybody else is getting out of the temple, Ketchy's gonna stay behind. And, you know, he's like, you guys stay behind. Uh, like, you guys go out, I'll stay behind, and, you know, see this through to the end. When the temple becomes the Black Bacteria, take it before Sephiroth does. So, this is supposed to be a noble sacrifice. Like, he's pretty much, you know, even though he was a spy and everything, it, it pretty much, this from this point on, he was fu he's fully devoted to Avalanche at this point. Yeah, yeah. And there it goes. What also makes that that noble sacrifice scene particular like also really depressing. It's like you're gonna see it later down the road, but even before then, it's it's like it feels sad yet really weird. How it's like, oh okay, it's like, oh okay, well, I'm gonna be sacrificing myself, but it's like there may be multiple robotic bodies, but yeah, there's only one me. So it's like. I'll miss you all, and don't forget me when if the, if another even if another K Sith rolls around. So so it's like I hear that it's like oh, it's actually kind of sad. Well, this is where I'm not sure with maybe there's like a translation error or something, but it's like I don't know. Given with what he means and everything, it's kind of a weird thing for him to say, considering it is just a guy operating a robot toy. Yeah. So it's like you know. Yeah, for him saying, you know, don't forget me, 
rather than saying, you know, hey, don't forget about this toy and everything. That's where it's like, I don't know, like, it could very well be a translation error, or is the game implying that somehow the toy got sentient? Sent sentient? Uh -oh. what, what do you mean? Oh. Yeah, like, it, it, took, it took a life of its own. Oh. Which actually, which actually kind of, which, I, I, you know, Stretch could possibly work, if only just because of um, the development history behind the character. I see. I thought they were just referring to the cat. Not so much yeah, the robot what, itself. Yeah, yeah what, it, what it also probably has something to do with the fact that, because I, mean, I don't, I haven't beaten this game, so I don't know about this. It might be, I don't even know if I would count this, oh, excuse me. I don't know if I would count this as spoilers, but, but do we ever see the the man behind Kate Sith? Yes, in this too. Okay. Alrighty, so I am now controlling Baby Cloud. <laughs> oh god damn it. Wah wah Baby Cloud oh. wants milk. Someone fetch me a nipple. Alright, so pretty much <laughs> if you go around and try and talk to Cloud, that's all he says. It's like, you know, no, don't be afraid. And try and get in his way. Cloud's just gonna walk around you. No, stop walking very slowly in place. It's not helping. It honestly does not matter. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you cannot prevent this from happening. Actually, oh, funny enough, I say he was. I said he was walking very slowly in place, but no, he's he's moving. Yep. Well done. You were able to move one foot closer to me. While you're having the biggest mind grade of your life. I can only imagine how trippy as fuck this is gonna be in the HD remake. Uh, oh, yeah. They're, they are gonna have a field day with the special effects. <laughs> Ugh! You jerk! Huh? Oh! Oh, meanwhile, to the left. Yep, and we, uh, we're controlling Baby Cloud again. And oh, hey, look at that! We got another catch sheet! <laughs> so, noble sacrifice, eat me! <laughs> it was like, oh yeah, so we. So yeah, it's like. That scene I was for. That happened with the first Kate Sith? Okay, it was depressing for just with that alone, but then you see that, it's like, oh. It's like, oh, <laughs> never mind. Oh, oh, okay, I, um, okay, never mind. <laughs> so, what was Cloud doing? He was attacking Arrow. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess, I can only assume because Cloud was still, you know, acting really crazy. Yeah, and you can hear the sound effects and everything, so it's like, yeah, he was attacking her, and that was why whoever your third party member would be, that's why they go down and literally knock him out to stop him. Oh. Oh, so, huh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Oh, there's Cloud. Uh, City of the Ancients and the Sleeping Forest. Oh, and oh. Oh, and okay, now, all right, now she's about to head out. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> uh, uh, Cloud, you're supposed to be moving towards. All right, all right, it's not, it doesn't count. All right, it's not called chasing after her if you're running in place again. Oh, tch. god damn it! <laughs> Wait, oh hi. Uh. Oh, and it was all just a, 
uh, hallucination. Oh, dream. Oh, tomato, tomato. Anyway. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Never mind. How you feeling? Um, well, not good. Yeah, the, the real the real, real answer is not good. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, not good. Uh, my stomach is hurting like crazy, and I, I I have like the biggest migraine ever. You guys have like any Tylenol? <laughs> oh no, he already knows. No. Oh, all oh, right, right. So because of what happened earlier with Air, with him attacking Aerith because of his uh, mental breakdown or whatnot, yeah, it's like I could only assume that if he were to go out and try to find Air, go out and try to find Aerith, or just go out in general, he may lose it again and start attacking everybody else. If, if, if is, is that does that sound right? Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty accurate. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's like, yeah, you know, you don't know why yet, but, yeah, Sephiroth, he, he, can, can, he can control Cloud. Oh! And this is like, it's like, that's what he was doing. Oh! Le oh, so so during the time when uh, Cloud was attacking Era, that was just simply Sephiroth, you know, controlling him. Yes. Oh! Sephiroth controlled Cloud to attack Aerith, he controlled Cloud to give him the Black Materia. That's why Cloud's freaking out right now. Okay, that all right. That that I was that I was kind of off base because I just thought it was like that was just Cloud himself, you know, because he had a mental breakdown. I I I guess I didn't quite get the memo that uh, it was Sephiroth who was actually like mind controlling Cloud to attack to attack uh, Aerith and all these other people, or better yet, have Cloud give Sephiroth the Black Materia. Well, that's the thing. Even Cloud right now doesn't really understand what's going on and everything. I mean, it's like, to be fair, this is really like the first time in the game when we're actually like... Like I said, this is when shit starts to get real and you're going to see some real fucked up shit going on with Cloud. Oh, damn. And, yeah, you're going to... Yeah, I mean, it just keeps on fucking going from here. So, But it's like, you know, there there have been hints since the beginning of the game... They've been very, very subtle about it, though. But this is, like, the first time where it's, like, oh. In incredibly there direct. Really is, there, yeah, they're being very direct about it. There is something wrong here. And it's, like, everybody is just, like, you know, look, you know, regardless of what's going on, Aerith's out there. She's in danger. We gotta save her. Which is where we are heading right now. So we have to actually go to a whole brand new continent for this not quite sure how Aerith got there by herself without, you know, the means of a, you know, broken down airplane boat. But regardless, join us next time for the Disc 1 finale.